All right, we're waiting for it. Oh no. <laughs> Never pay attention to the text. That's how you lose. I mean, I was paying attention to read it. Hey, Valley of Tears. Miss Simo, how's it going? So, Krath, how was your stream? Tell me all about it. Ooh, Cuphead, good game. Never mind. G give me the answers, Ethan. Just give me those crystal answers. I'll see if I can spot it while we uh, work our way back through the text again. <clears throat> Girl disappears, dies alone. Envy. So that was blue was Envy. Envy's blue. Next one, I believe, is red. It's the color of their eyes. Oh, but this one's a red dragon. Oh, it changes every time, I see. Yep, listen. Wait. Oh no. I, I think we're okay. I think the second one was red. Yep, okay, here we are. Envy. Blue this time. It spoke! This shade has intelligence and emotion. Oh, it's not a color the next one? Never mind. Who cares? Chris brushed Wise Common aside as his sword sliced through the shade's right arm. The shade extended his remaining arm to Chris. I must touch him. I must make contact. The moment its fingers brushed against Chris, the tree felt a warm sensation begin to burn. Something hot coursed through its fingers, up its arm, out its entire body. It was emotion. More than the entity had felt in centuries. The tree cried out in surprise and joy. One thousand years alone, one thousand years in quiet contemplation. The tree felt like it was going to break apart. For long centuries, the tree had been alone, its heart sealed with heavy chains, but no more. New, powerful emotions began to take hold, causing its heart to lighten. This was more than the simple emotions that had been designed to feel. It was the beginning of a soul. And the young man was the key. This was the promise made long ago. This was how it would be released. The tree's stomach began to throb in pain, a new and unpleasant sensation. But the time was not yet right. I implore you, how many were lost by the warrior who fought the red-eyed beasts? Her daughter and 33 friends. <clears throat> okay, riddle time is over. I'm gonna kill this stupid shade once and for all. Something round and shiny fell from the open stomach and clattered to the floor. The key, cried the book. Secure the key. The man's sword slowed. Time began to dilate around him, stretching and slowing. Time is essential. The next word must be heard. The words exploded. It became difficult to discern their meaning. The pool of memories began to crack as infinite blackness burrowed its way into the wall. Weiss said, This world is falling apart, Chris. How can a world of letters... I implore... Most important thing... World... Oh, Yoda's the most important thing in the world. The light was complete. The memories disappeared. The tree's identity began to dissolve. As the letters slowly faded, Chris was drawn back to the real world and the tree was satisfied. I figured the second time is the one that matters, so I went with those answers. <coughs> I never realized shades were capable of rational thought. I don't care if they can tap dance and play the fiddle. I just want to kill him without all this hassle. 
<laughs> With the tree defeated, we no longer have to worry about being buried in its world of letters. Unless, of course, time itself begins to rewind. Hmm. You know something I don't, Grimoire? Oh, well, that was... I didn't even realize that we were, we were on the fragment quest there. I thought this had to do with the kids, but I guess the berries is the kids. Well, what next? Head for the junk heap. Popola said we might be able to find a key fragment in the junk heap. Perhaps we can find a clue at Two Brothers' weaponry. Two Brothers. <laughs> if they could tap dance and play a fiddle, I want to see that. You've been hurt by a tree, Iron Core? Has a tree lied to you before? Did you get giving treed? You guys solved the mystery yet? No. We got nothing. Too bad. Hey, what's with those berries? We clearly solved the mystery. It's the fucking berries. What, these? We picked them up over by that huge tree. I Gimme. I'm starving. Oops. No, Kaide! Are you mad? Those berries are clearly poisonous. Even one such as you can't hope to... Damn, these are delicious. Gimme more. <laughs> well, in that case, I suppose I should try one. We get sick, though. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think Vice was right about those berries. Feels like somebody stabbed me in the gut. Ah, as a dwarf, yeah, trees are scary. You can't trust trees. Or elves. Hey, what's wrong? Oh no, don't tell me you ate one of those berries. For the love of trees, those things are deadly. Quick, take this antidote before you perish. Hey, can I have another one of those antidotes, by the way? I got a kid who probably ate these berries. <sighs> Thought I was a goner there. Are you an idiot? Didn't you see the lumps? The unusual colors? Only a child would attempt to eat something like that. <laughs> kind of just watches you hit the floor. A child? Oh, crap. I, I bet that kid ate one of these berries. Yes, quite possibly. And if the poison is this painful for you, I can only imagine what it would do to a small child. <laughs> We're actually kind of pathetic. A kid can handle it hey, just fine. Did you take the antidote? Don't need it. God, those berries were amazing. <laughs> the truly amazing thing is that your stomach is fouler than your taste in clothing. If you had genitals, I would so chop them off right now. <laughs> you don't know how a book works. Maybe a book does have genitals. You just don't know where they are. Page 69. That's where they are. That's right, I forgot to go into the butt and fix it so it doesn't scream about commands constantly. Something broke in my butt. Excuse Schrodinger for yelling about this commands over and over sucks. again. Still can't feel my arms and legs. I feel great. Man. I feel great! Cast iron stomach, Kaine. The hussies in turn. Oh. Where was I going? The junk heap. Right, right. Not the airy. Why do you have to be such a shithead all the time, fuck? There it is! I've never seen a shade this large around here. That's a big boy! Be careful. This is a formidable foe. Well, I might as well finish off the little guys first. shooting all the bullets? Maybe gluttony is a good idea here. Can you, can you aim at the big boy? That's kind of fun. Doesn't do that much damage, though. And when I run out of charge, I take damage. All right, Dark Gluttony, you're interesting, but the fact that you take up so much mana makes you not that useful. Who's Moonface? That's a meal. 
All right, casters. Let's get rid of all the bullet friends. That's a sleepy boar. Still hasn't woken up. There you go, buddy. Hit the ground. I got a prize for you. Ready? There you go. There, are we done with like a million bullets now? Ooh. Let's go out on disposable. Never played a near game before? They're bullet helly sometimes. Alright, duck out. Jesus. Alright, little jerks. I'm tired of you being here. Out of here. There we go. Just you and me, big boy. Not a fan of how little damage we do. But he is covered in armor, I guess. Ooh. Okay. That does way more damage. Oh, on the backhand. What deck will we on? Uh, this is on normal, if I recall. Up and down. All right, that does the good damage. What attack? That's uh, jumping up and attacking with hard, and then hard back down again. It's great for juggling. Come on, do your dumb swing. You didn't learn any combos in this game? There's some good combos. Fist. Here comes the fist, big boy. Excuse me. I love this. The boar is still just napping next to this. Very sleepy boar. Dark hand, which I call the fist. Give it the fist. All right, Ash Ashurka. Physical defense. Oh, well, that's not too exciting. Regardless, though, bridge quest <laughs> over. Trash getting in our way. It's hard to Complex imagine machine. a shade being here. It's almost like it was waiting for us. Wait, hard to it imagine. Be We've been intelligent. There's oh, literally no. a dozen shades Can right there. Say so with all I could see them. The tactics scurrying of the about. Grow more intricate with each passing year. It would not surprise me to see them setting elaborate traps for us before long. <laughs> We'd better wipe them out before they get too smart. Depends Anyways, on the game. We won't be able to live in peace until we take out the Shadow Lord. Shadow Lord. When it comes to difficulty, often I go with uh, whatever default hard setting they have, because that's the design they chose. And then sometimes if the game is a little bit too easy, I'll put it on hard. But... I tend to go with normal, because that's how the designers tend to design the game, around that difficulty. And I'm here for the curated experience. But again, it depends on the game. With Isaac, I keep it on hard mode, because the unlocks require you to do hard mode. But for a game like Nier, normal. 
Well, I wasn't feeling judged. I was more... People are asking about difficulty. I'm like, hey, we could talk about difficulty in games. I like whatever the curated experience is. Part of why I like Dark Souls and Bloodborne as much as I do is because there is no setting. It's just, here is how the game was designed. No thoughts or questions. Here is the perfect experience. Speaking of Binding of Isaac, fuck the Solar System Challenge, but that's such a good challenge! I love the Solar System Challenge. Man, there's gotta be tons of machinery here. Yeah, but I don't know how much we can actually use. <gasps> oh, wow. Two brothers! Check this out! It looks brand new! Hey, be careful, alright? This place is dangerous. <sighs> Look behind I'll you! Be fine! Oh no! Huh? Look out! Huh? Can't have another kid die in this game. Kids are dying left and right in this game. Huh? <gasps> Anything about someone or something called Yorha Number Thirteen? Uh, the Yorha are Jacob! the organization protecting humanity in Automata. Jacob! Jacob! <sighs> For the glory of mankind. No! Oh, we lost another kid. I am sorry for your loss. The junkie. Perhaps we should speak to the brothers. <laughs> Five hours reroll. They might know something about this. Well, we can't call them brothers anymore. Who are you? Oh, hey there. It's been a while. Oh, he's got a robot arm now. You're the little one, aren't you? You've grown up. Oh, right! Five-year time jump! That happened in the past. How fares your brother? My brother's been dead for four years. Oh, I see. Please, forgive the question. It's okay. I need to ask you something. Oh, little Gideon. What is it? You heard any rumors about shades around here? Not the little ones. I'm looking for one that's unusually big and powerful. No, I haven't heard about anything like that. But I haven't really been listening. All I want is to destroy robots. Well, you're gonna love the future. Just rip them up. Uh, okay. Never mind then. See you later. <laughs> One brother. It doesn't have the same ring to it. Wait! Yes. I recently got my hands on a weapon. A very powerful weapon. Ooh. I thought you might get some use out of it. Two-handed sword, Iron Will. This sword has seen better days. Yeah, it's pretty beat up. I mean, there's potential, but it's fairly powerless right now. Can you repair it? I can repair anything with the proper materials. If you'll fix it, I'll get the parts. <laughs> I'm so glad I decided not to throw this out. That's a creepy laugh you got I'm there. I'm gonna need some memory alloy. Only the real big enemies on the second basement level have them, so watch yourself. Also, here's the passcode to get down there. Use it on the elevator. Finally. You got it. I'm gonna need only the real big... You got it. By the... What can I help you with? What's the Phoenix Spear need? Giant egg. Interesting. Not chicken eggs, giant eggs. It's apparently called a gun. Alright, we need giant eggs. Because this is the one I want to level up. All the other spears pale in comparison. 
So that's a the spear. 389, 370, Vile Axe. Axe beheading 418. Really? Vile Axe is better than my uh, beheading axe. And I can upgrade the Vile Axe. Silver ore and simple machines. Yeah, I'm probably gonna check out the demo before ruining. I'll do three hours of Ruiner, three hours of this, and one hour of a uh, Resident Evil demo. And then that last half an hour of time that exists in my stream is probably just like the in betweeny moments. Even though we're gonna be playing the game next week. Still excited. Like, it's Resident Evil. I can't not be excited about that. Alright, I think. I think Vile Axe is my best axe. Let's upgrade the axe once. Simple Machines, I got them. Silver Ore, I got it. Let's upgrade that once. Vile Axe successfully forged. Oh my god, level 2 brings up to 729. What's it need now? Twisted Ring? Jeepers. Come back soon. All right, I want three machine oil. I know we're not gonna get three machine oil down here, but I want three machine oil. Mm -hmm. I wonder if this does anything yet. Nope. Bigger shades of a chance of dropping Twisted Ring. I'll keep my eyes open. Some of the drop rates in this game are awful. Just awful. But it is what it is. It's a shame about the older lad. He was but a child. Sounds like you went into a dangerous area for the sake of the business. Wonder if this elevator is the one we take. But the enemies I want to fight are not here, so. I right, so let's just assume it's the other elevator. What do you got for me? Strip bolts? I'm maxed out on those. And broken antenna. Maxed out on those too. Because of course I am. We got severed cable, severed cable. Why is Shoe Egg Boy Amelie with us? What the fuck are you talking about? Shoe Egg Boy. Emil? Because Emil is like. A super magic child wizard. <laughs> Broken motor, severed cable, severed cable. So these things have a chance to drop machine oil, which is apparently a very rare. Oh, I see a gold one. Oh my god, one out of three machine oils gotten. Apparently, I need to do this on stream. Improve my drop rates. Alright, it's probably the elevator behind. Oh, <laughs> behind us. Let me just check my. Mysterious switches are dropped by the boxes. By these gentlemen. I do need some mysterious switches. Strip bolts, strip bolts. Let's just assume that if I'm not picking it up, it's because I can't. Come on, get out of here. Am I not picking up any of these things? 
That's how much farming I've done down here. I can't even pick things up anymore. Except for broken arms. It's super. Am I going to pick up Returnal? Returnal's on a console that is impossible to purchase. I would love to play Returnal. I would... I would absolutely love to be playing Returnal right now. The game looks phenomenal. But it's a PlayStation 5 game, and I don't have a PlayStation 5. And they're impossible to find. Unless you want to spend like $800. Bolts, strip bolts, strip bolts. Uh, like, I, I barely tolerate farming in games I really like. I never play MMOs because of it. Out of my word! Strip bolts, broken antenna, strip bolts. How many mysterious switches will I get from this? Zero. You can get one for retail. Really? You know you know a guy? Shoot me a message, we could chat. Farming MMOs is a completely different experience to farming in single-player games. I've never enjoyed farming in MMOs. Get down from there! You're a ground robot! That's a metal board. Yep, no mysterious switches. Even though these are the ones that drop. Bolt, dented metal board. Yep, none of the drops I needed. Excellent. That's what I like to see. Oh, you play MMOs with other people? It's not how I played MMOs. I guess we'll try this elevator first. Nope, that goes to the second floor. We'll try the other elevator. Oh, I can listen to the soundtrack all day forever. Chris could kick that shade's butt. Aw, oh, what a what a good little sister. Gotta sell some bolts and antenna. They're not even worth enough money to bother selling. The dozen sharks I got during grinding out fishing quests. That was where that's where the money was at. The elder brother postponed his joy for the sake of his sibling. Do you think he was ever truly happy? Just making his little brother happy would have been enough. That's what being an older brother is like. No, no, lock onto the gun. There you go. Get back here. No drops. No drops. No drops. Well, I assume I'm gonna need these bombs for something.
<laughs> Didn't quite make it. You made tacos yesterday and working through the leftovers today. You overestimated how bag how far a bag of cheese would go. Yeah, you can uh, stretch a lot of those kind of ingredients for a while. When I make burritos, I make a billion burritos. You tried to rape, but you couldn't figure it out. How's it going, Jimmy? Oh god, it's Donkey Kong Country now. On guns, let's go. You call this being guns pathetic? Go here. Not flying robots. If they drop things, I won't be able to get them. You save those flying robots from we're in an area where I can actually harvest their drops. Not fair. Same people that designed the cube and cube. It was fun. I'm glad you enjoyed live streaming. There is no purpose, Joe. That's the sick joke of it all. Other quotes from the movie Cube. He meant IRL stream. Next step, hot tub streams. For raids, you just type into the chat box forward slash raid space and then the name of the channel. Do, do. At least I assume. Oh, look at this big boy. Titanium alloy. All right, there we go. I got a memory alloy. Well, that's one quest done. I think I just saw a mysterious switch. May have picked up one. Strip bolt, strip bolt, broken arm, broken arm. One more mysterious switch. Six more lenses. Well, I got the memory alloy, so that one's done. Done there. Did two more machine oil. Oh my god. Machine oil can suck a bag of dicks. Junk heap depths. So right... Seems like more dungeon. Doesn't open. Does not open from this side. Thank you, Dark Souls. <gasps> Flying robots, yay! Come on, yellow drops. Zero machine oils, good.
I probably didn't want to go down here yet. The other room looked like a big, like, ominous space, so I was like, I'll go this way. Maybe it won't let me down there yet. Alright, let's finish the other floor and then go down to the depths. Any chance for fucking machine oil? And broken lenses. And one more mysterious switch. Ooh, I should see if the brothers sell machine parts. Oh, nice. They respawn immediately. I doubt he'll sell machine oil, of course. Bunch of severed cables. A lot of severed cables. That might be the most efficient farming location for... for me. So I don't want to go this way. I want to go this way. Yeah, all of this we haven't done. Strip bolts? No! Broken, can't go that way. Great, strip bolt. Titanium alloy sells for a decent amount at least. Mysterious switch, nice, all right. I'm officially done farming these guys, I think. All right, broken door. Broken won't open. Broken won't open. Come on, you could surely put some machine oil on the floor as a pickup when I break boxes sometimes, right? Next wave. Get out of here. How was your camping trip, Jamie? Well, got whatever they had. Really? On the return trip. The problem is these robots are useless. I <laughs> got him. Oh, and everybody survived. Yeah, we got one broken lens. I'm hoping we could buy broken lenses from the two brothers shop. Well, the one, the one brother shop, I, I guess. R.I.P. Brother. Come on, flying robots. Huh, they keep on giving me these bombs. Oh, I wonder. I wonder. Some of those doors that, like, have metal on them. What's the closest bomb we have access to? Alright, that spawns bombs here. Hey, mysterious switch. Don't need those anymore. Oh, now they're dropping left and right. Go! 
Nope, can't make it. Like, maybe we could blow- we could bomb these. The store is broken and won't open. Maybe? Well, not that one, but like the one with metal in front of it. And there was another one with metal in that, right? There are bombs in here? No, that one doesn't have metal in front of it. I wonder. Oh, but this! Yeah, right here! Yeah, okay. Gimme. Oh, it's just facing the wrong way. There we go. Oh, the spear is good. Bring me big boys. Bring me 1950s toys that represent what we thought robots would look like in the future. Titanium alloy. Oh, and flying boys! This is a delight. Yellow, yellow, yellow drop, yellow drop. I couldn't see what it said. Was it machine oil? Was it? Was it machine oil? It was machine oil. One more machine oil to go. It's been a lucrative trip down here. Lucrative. Well, fingers crossed on the final floor of this place, we get one more machine oil. That would save me a lot of hassle. Oh, that would save me so much time. Please, one more machine oil. I don't want to ever come back to farm here. Jimmy's gonna keep it a secret how his camping trip was. He'll never tell us. Ah! Uh, well, there's a chance floating robots will be here. The flying ones drop machine oil. Yes! Over land! Make sure these things always die where I can pick up their goodies. Let's go this way first. It's a dead end, so I can clearly see that. Just to make sure. Alright, no items. Over, over the thing. Come over here. A little bit more. Come on. Let's go, you piece of garbage. <coughs> I refuse to kill anybody who's floating not over the platform. Oh, you're so annoying. Yeah, you. Careful, team. Don't kill them unless we can pick up their drops. Oh, I just killed one. No. Come on. Come on. Come on, boy. Over here. Come on. Come on. You can do it! Oh, screw you. I don't have that much time. I'm not that patient. The, the Chris flower? The rare Chris flower. No! Stay on land.
It's a big thing. If I have two memory allies, I can <clears throat> have him upgrade that thing. Ooh, a save point. Ooh, a tunnel. Beast curse. If we have two rooms to choose from. Oh, wait, no, the bridge is out on this way. Never mind, we're going this way. Surface. I didn't get a piece. Man, Patrick said he was gonna make Mac and Patrick this week. He hasn't yet. Where's my Mac and Patrick? Where's my favorite food? Let's go back to two brothers. It's just, it's just two brothers. Ooh, the trailer for the new season of Rick and Morty looks very good. That's some pretty impressive stuff you found. Thank you. I'll start upgrading your weapon right away. And since you did me a favor, I won't even charge you for it. Wait, no, no, don't use the memory alley, though. <laughs> Shit. Well, actually, this is going to take a little more time than I thought. No sense in you waiting around. I'll send you a letter once it's ready. That would be great. No sense in... That would be... By the way... What can I help you with? Buy and sell. Buy. Broken. Fucking lenses, baby. Five of them, please. Come back. Done. Done. Fuck, they did take the memory alloy. <laughs> God damn it. Alright, any memory alloy again. Still growing flowers. Done. One more machine oil. Ah, oh, damn! I think I think I left my yes, cell phone down there. Time on our hands. Maybe Popol has found some information about the Shadow Lord. Let's drop by the village. Very well. Or or just burnt craft dinner and hot dogs carved in weird star designs. It's a uh, spicy Italian sausage, homemade mac and cheese. He does a, a very good job with it. I left my car keys in here. I'm just gonna go uh, go get my car keys. Definitely not gonna just murder everything in the hopes of getting one more memory oil, uh, alloy and one more machine oil. Definitely wouldn't do that. No, no, no. Doo -doo -doo. Just gotta get my car keys. That's all. Just left my car keys in here. Let's see, I got zero machine oil on the first floor. So I think we're just gonna go right on down to the second floor. Where well, there's four big robots for us to fight, which we're ideally gonna get a memory ally. What kind of car is it? It's a Jetta. Uh, uh. Got another hour of this, then we'll do an hour of the new Resident Evil demo, and then we'll play Ruiner, and that's the stream for the day. Do, do. It's nice when I know what I'm doing during a stream. <laughs> I know this is not the most popular game for me to, uh, to stream 
but uh, I'm largely playing this for me anyway. I just really like this game. I don't need to kill you guys anymore. You're a waste of time. I guess I could still sell your parts, but... I don't really need money that bad either. I'm unused to this layout. Is this a new B2 we're on? It is? That is bizarre. This is a different layout. I was not expecting that. Very weird. Alright, this could have flying robots. Nope, none came out. Maybe on the return trip. Yes, flying robots! Not enough flying robots, really. Big robot? Nope. I got explosive balls, not sure why. Flying robot, please! Lock me in here and attack me! Or not. Guess that's fine too. Alright, door won't open. Flying robots, yes! Come to me! I need more than that, please. More than that. No yellows. Garbage robots! I hate that I can't attack them until they're done walking out of their tubes. Just slows me down. Everybody dead? One more? Come on. There we go. Well, not lucrative. Should have never talked to that kid. Took my goddamn memory alloy. Don't even bother, we know the door's broken. We gotta blow this door up. Whoa! Holes in the ground, okay. Careful, Emil. I wonder. Can I push these boxes into the holes? Nope, I don't know why these movable boxes are here. Amber? 
It's a rare drop. Stupid holes in the ground. Oh, we have uh, turrets back here. Oh, can't go back yet. All right, don't don't fall in the holes. Just gonna always attack those, thinking they're cardboard. Sorry, wood. Oh! All right, maybe don't lock on and then dodge and have the. Situational lock on change where I roll right into a hole. Amber? Well, I assume I'm gonna need Amber eventually. Probably for a weapon upgrade. Listen, those holes are tempting, alright? Here we go. Here's where memory alloy is gonna happen. I know what these big holes are for. Level up. Come on, give me a big boy robot. I'm tired of these little robots. Three of them. Give me three big boy robots. Ooh, even better, flying guys. Never mind, you know what I need and want, game. Any yellows? No yellows. The only color that matters is yellow. Still gotta pick everything up, but. Oh, here comes the big boy. You drop the yellow, it's probably titanium, but hopefully memory? Ah, titanium. Useless. Super duper! Give me a bomb, please. No bomb. Let's just. Oh, there it is. Go! No flying robots? Come on! Alright, we went through that whole twisting chamber. Now we go down. Alright, need another bomb. Thank you, don't mind if I do. Oh god, the door is closed. Open! Open quick! Ooh. We went down all these side paths, now the next long hallway. Ah! Uh -oh. Alright, maybe we did go through this part. Go! Go! I just forgot about this one. We go down again. It's true. Come on, choo-choo! Go, 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 go! Some minecart rides. Everything in front of us will be dead before we get there. Come on! Just what I love. Just very slow rides. Get out of here. Uh, but that good soundtrack is always with you. Here. 
almost there. This is the home stretch. Come on. And we're good. Kinda, you were just waiting here? There we go. Here's the floor I thought we were going to before. 